Breaking news. According to eyewitnesses, dozens of people were killed or injured when an Israeli airstrike targeted an ambulance near a hospital. Israeli authorities have taken credit for a deadly attack on an ambulance near Gaza City's Al Shifa Hospital, the largest hospital in the territory. On Friday, health authorities run by Hamas reported at least 15 deaths and 50 injuries. There appeared to be at least a dozen injured people scattered around the area, and an ambulance could be seen nearby. At least one of the vehicles there appears to have been hit by shrapnel. According to a statement released by the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, Israel claimed it had attacked the ambulance because it was being used by Hamas. Near their position in the battle zone, an IDF aircraft struck an ambulance identified by forces as being used by a Hamas terrorist cell, the report said. The strike resulted in the deaths of several Hamas terrorist operatives. According to our findings, Hamas routinely uses ambulances to transport terror operatives and weapons, as stated in the statement. Because of the attack on the ambulance, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has once again demanded that Israel stop firing on Gaza. Guterres issued a statement in which he expressed his horror at the reported attack on an ambulance convoy outside of Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza. He continued I do not forget the terror attacks committed in Israel by Hamas and the killing, maiming, and abductions, including of women and children. The images of bodies strewn on the street outside the hospital are harrowing. All hostages held in Gaza must be released immediately and unconditionally. Now, for nearly one month, civilians in Gaza, including children and women, have been besieged, denied aid, killed, and bombed out of their homes, he said, adding, This must stop. At Al Shifa Hospital, a representative of the Palestinian Ministry of Health in Gaza claimed that the attack had come from Israel. The Palestine Red Crescent Society, PRCS, confirmed that one of its ambulances was among the vehicles hit, but that no PRCS personnel were hurt. The ambulance was damaged when a shell fell near it, the PCRS said. PRCS reported that, upon arrival at Al Shifa Hospital's gate, The gate was targeted again, and that dozens of civilians were killed or injured as a result. According to Dr. Ashraf Al Chidra, the International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, was informed of the hospital's medical convoy and its organization. According to him, the group was headed for the Rafah Crossing, a border crossing in the south of the besieged enclave that has become the last hope for Gazans seeking to flee the strip as Israeli bombs fall on it. He said, when the ambulances moved toward the south, the occupation, Israel, targeted the ambulances in multiple locations, including on the gate of Al Shifa medical compound. The Israeli occupation targeted intentionally those ambulances. Before the convoy set out, the ICRC confirmed to CNN that it had received a request to accompany the group. However, in a later statement, it clarified that while it was aware of the planned Friday movement of a convoy of vehicles carrying wounded patients from northern Gaza to the south of the enclave, it was not a part of the convoy. The International Committee of the Red Cross, ICRC, stated even if we were not present, this is still medical convoy, and any violence towards medical personnel is unacceptable.